Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, Mangotology. So for today's video, I wanted to talk to you how Scientology invited me to the Academy Awards, and it's not what you think, as well as going to graduation weekly as a Scientologist. But first, if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below, as well as the bell icon that's gonna notify you when I make new videos about the Church of Scientology. If you wanna stay updated on all the latest breaking news about Scientology, make sure you're subscribed and clicking that little bell icon so you get notified about the new videos. So when I was in Scientology, it was very much to me, like in the early days, it just seemed more or less like a self-help program. Like I don't think in the very beginning, in the first couple of weeks, that I necessarily thought of Scientology as a religion on the same basis as you would think of, you know, a Catholic church or, you know, going to a temple or, you know, practicing Judaism. It seemed more or less like just life tools that can help you be able to better your life. And that's what was kind of sold to me. Again, yes, it was a celebrity center and they were promising help with my career and that sort of thing on one small aspect of it. But for me, I was someone who was just a very big seeker. I just wanted something more to my life, in my life, and I just wanted to be more fulfilled. Filled. And Scientology is offering a very direct path to be able to achieve that level of freedom, that level of being more of my true self, and all these different things that I really wanted in my life. And I knew and I thought by taking these courses and going up the bridge that I'd be able to obtain what they promised. Because at the end of every single level, there's an EP, which is basically your end phenomena. So basically, on every single course, there's a set goal that you achieve by the end of the course, a certain state of beingness. So it may be that you're free from the problems of life. Now, we all have problems. So could you imagine being free from the problems of life? And at the earlier stages, when you actually see that you're reaching the EP of that level, the end phenomena, and you say, wow, like it actually is true, it actually worked. When you see the levels up here, you actually look at them and you say, wow, it must be obtainable because I actually had some form of a win at the earlier level and reach an EP. Why is that not obtainable if something else earlier was and it actually was starting to work for me? So I'd be going on course every single day to try to obtain these type of wins that Scientology was promising. So at the end, of a different course, whether it's a book and lecture course, whether it's an auditing level, whatever, you have to go and attest for the completion of the course. So you go on what's called a routing form. I'm sure you guys know. And when you go on the routing form, it's basically like a whole form of every single step that you need to do to finish the course. So you finish everything up and the course supervisor says like all the material was filled out and um, you know, say like your next stop is to go see the examiner. You go to the examiner, they put you on the e-meter, they ask you questions and wait for your needle to float and you go and you write a success story because at the end of every course you write a success story. So there's a very set procedure of how you finish a course in Scientology. It's not like you're done, they say, okay, you know, off to your next course, you're done. You go through a set type of procedure after the end of a course, and it's kind of mind controlling and validating in a way because you're writing a success story and you have to write a good success story. You can't just say, oh, the course was crap. You have to say it was amazing or else you go to ethics or they say, you didn't understand something. You have a misunderstood word. And if you wanna just get to the next level, don't be a troublemaker. Just say that the course was great, amazing, and you go to the examiner, your needle floats, hopefully, and you don't have to do any sort of corrections or anything like that. And then you go at the very end of everything, you go to um, the registrar, they sign you for the course, and then they say, well, how about graduation? And you think at the very beginning, you're like, graduation? Like, what is this? I, I graduated from high school or I graduated from college. Like, why do I need to go to a graduation for a $50 course? It doesn't matter what course you do. You have to go to a graduation ceremony. So I've been to a number of graduations. And basically, when you go to graduation, there'll be like a student who will go on stage or someone who's like a pre-clear or someone receiving auditing, you know, and they'll finish a level. And there'll usually be someone who's a little bit more advanced. It won't just be someone on the early course. Sometimes at Celebrity Center, if they didn't have any like really big, you know, graduates for the week, they would just put someone on stage who's kind of like, you know, doing a silly little introductory sort of course, but mostly it would be someone who went clear, someone who did their grades, or someone who actually did a major level to try to inspire others. So you're there on a Friday night after being all day on course or whatever, and then you have to go and put on a dress shirt or something and go and sit at, you know, the Garden Pavilion at the Celebrity Center, and you're sitting there, and you feel like an idiot, like it's a $50 course, like I could 
could just be home right now and like doing something else with my time. Why do I have to graduate? But of course you have to get your certificate and all that sort of stuff. And you know, they hound you about it. So if you say, oh, I can't make it, which is what I would used to do. Be like, I can't make it on Friday. I have something. They'll say, can you go to next week's graduation or the week after's graduation? And it's like, you're kind of like stuck either way. So you might as well just go. So they stop asking you to go every single day. So I'd be somehow guilted into going to the graduation and there'd be a number of people there. And then eventually, you know, they call up your name, you go on stage and you shake the commanding officer's hand and you have your certificate and you smile and, you know, you pose with your certificate and then you take a photo like this with your hand up in the air with your certificate with all the other students who graduated that week. They take photos so they can put it in their celebrity magazine or online. So it looks like there's like a booming org and there's so many people there and look at how amazing our org is doing, right? And you know, you're just kind of rolling your eyes because it just seems so cheesy and so silly. And I don't think a lot of people know, but like the little things like that, like, did you guys know that there was a graduation? Maybe if you were in Scientology, but every course and every week there's a graduation. And even if you're not graduating that week, you still are asked to go to the graduation. So their statistics look good. So then they could later report and say, we had 300 students at graduation. They don't want to say that there was like three people there. They want to create an image, especially if you're a new person that's inside Scientology and um, you're a new you on a course, you look up to these other people and you're saying, oh, they achieved all these big levels. Like, I hope that one day I can be on stage getting my clear certificate or whatever that you're looking to achieve inside Scientology. And it creates that group dynamic and a lot of other things. So about the Academy Awards. Now, again, remember we're at Celebrity Center. So when you get invited to the Academy Awards, you're thinking you're going to the Oscars. <laughs> you think you're gonna walk the red carpet, you know, on Hollywood and Highland and go into the Kodak Theater and wear like a suit or, you know, whatever. And you think that, you know, when they're asking you to go to the Academy Awards, that but this is something that's unlike any other invitation you're going to be getting, right? So you guys must be wondering like what in the world were you actually invited to? Because I was given like an actual envelope. It looked like all like official whatever and like you pull it out. Like you know like when you're going to like a very formal event sort of thing and it's like oh Stephen Mango you were invited to the Academy Awards. And you're thinking wow this is so great you know. Then it's the Celebrity Center International and you're like the Oscars are not going to be at Celebrity Center International but like oh you have to come to the Academy Awards. It's huge like you want to be there. So I'm thinking okay like just like everything in Scientology guys. It's a bait and switch. Nothing is just what they say it is. I feel like for the most part, as I think about it over the course of however many years that I was inside Scientology, pretty much every single thing, I would say 99.9% .9 of things that they told me about or invited me to or were leading me on about were all fake, all lead-ons, all something that really wasn't what they said it was, just basically a big letdown overall. So I showed up to Celebrity Center knowing it's not like the real Academy Awards, but I was wondering like what would the Academy Awards are being? And I wasn't actually thinking Academy Awards, not Academy Awards like the Academy of Television and Motion Pictures sort of Academy Awards. We're talking about the Academy that produces auditors. So as you guys know, on the bridge to total freedom, there are two sides. There is the processing side, which is where you're receiving auditing. Then there's the training side, where you're training so you can deliver the processing. Like basically, you're doing different TRs and you're doing metering and you know, pro TRs and all these different things. You're doing like your class zero, which correlates to being able to deliver grade zero. Then you're doing class one auditing procedures, which correlates to grade one. And it kind of goes like so on and so forth from there. So it's basically the Academy of Scientology Awards. So I'm thinking, of course, you know, I can't just be going to the real Academy Awards, like I'm at the Scientology Academy Awards. Like I didn't move to Hollywood at the time to be going to the red carpet of the Academy Awards at the Church of Scientology Celebrity Center International, okay? I didn't necessarily think of that. And later on, I can kind of look back and be like, wow, like, you know, clearly my life didn't go in the direction at the time that I wanted to go into. Like, I didn't think that, you know, when I was like 15, 16, planning to move to LA when I was 18, I wasn't thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be, you know, sitting down at the Church of Scientology in a completely different faith, because I was, you know, growing up Catholic, and I'd be, you know, watching people go on stage talking about, you know, all these things that are basically sound like mumbo jumbo if you're not like involved in the Scientology language. So it all sounds very crazy and it's very weird and anyway, so I'd be sitting there and there was all these people there and everyone was getting dressed up Like it was actually kind of surprised like people were wearing like actual tuxedos and gowns and it really made this out to be like a big thing So they were basically doing like the best twin awards basically like the best duo that are co-auditing maybe up the bridge And this was probably around the year 2000 10, 2011, maybe something like that. And it was probably the same like five, maybe 10 people getting those awards. They were desperate to get
get people in the academy because their stats were so low because no one was training. They were just getting auditing. No one wanted to train to become an auditor. It was kind of silly and I'm sitting there and then they're handing out things like you have to like go to the academy and you have to train to be an auditor. Then we watched this film and it was the guy that was in charge of the academy. Now don't quote me on his name. I believe it was Jeremy Russell. I'm not 100% sure but I think that's his name was Jeremy Russell. And I think the other guy who's in the video's name is like Torrance or Karen or it was something like that. It was something with the T, I believe. And they did this video like they were like superheroes running through and it was kind of like this Mission Impossible sort of video. Like I wish I had it for you guys. It was the most ridiculous thing but it was trying to inspire others to be in the academy, to train, to become auditors and all this sort of stuff. I don't know. Like I get like these weird like nostalgic moments sometimes. It's weird. Like not nostalgic sometimes like in a good nostalgia but kind of like I was just remembering for a second here like how much I actually did try to save money to become an auditor and to get an e-meter and to you know do all the like prerequisites and I was taking all the courses in order to be you know do the prerequisites so I wouldn't have to do them like on the level like of the book and lecture courses like I wanted to get those all done and I did so I can be able to train to become an auditor and all this sort of stuff so you know, it's almost like one of those things where you feel like it was something that you really wanted to obtain it's like how I wanted to be an actor like I wanted to be an auditor and I wanted to help people and I truly thought that could change what they consider like the theta to and theta ratio on this planet like we'd be able to have a more sane world you know now that I think about it too I can make those type of changes in this world without necessarily needing to do Scientology to achieve that because how many people are in Scientology anyways? I can make a bigger change on YouTube or in the world in general than I could in Scientology So I guess so now that I think about it but think back sometimes you're like wow Like I was in a whole different headspace Like it's just so crazy to kind of get back in that mindset of what actually happened to me when I was inside Scientology, but it was basically a promotional event, the Academy Awards, to get people to try to train to become auditors and all this sort of stuff, and I probably donated money. I know myself. I might have donated $1,500, $2,000 that night just because you get like that, like, oh yes, like that like excited sort of high feeling, like I'm gonna be the auditor and I'm gonna um, become spiritually free and make change on this planet. And that's kind of what they wanted. It was a sales event, just like everything else inside Scientology. So I decided to make this video today because I'm sure not many people have really made a video about graduation or the Academy Awards. I don't know if anyone really talked about that, if it was just like a celebrity center thing. If anyone has any stories about the graduation events or the Academy Awards or anything, let me know in the comments. I don't know if anyone ever talked about it. Or if you guys want more information about the routing form, and what happens when you sign up for a course, all the steps leading up to a course, as well as when you leave a course. I can go into more detail, but I was just actually telling Jeff today about the graduation and the Academy Awards stuff, so I'm like, well, might as well film a video about it. I don't know if anyone has any interest, but yeah, that's today's video for you guys. If you like this video, again, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, also leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.